In cardiovascular physiology, stroke volume is the volume of blood pumped from one ventricle at the heart with each beat. SV is calculated using measurements of ventricle volumes from an echocardiogram and subtracting the volume of the blood in the ventricle at the end of a beat from the volume of blood just prior to the beat. The term stroke volume can apply to each of the two ventricles of the heart, although it usually refers to the left ventricle. The stroke volumes for each ventricle are generally equal, both being approximately 70 milliliters in a healthy 70 kilogram man. Stroke volume is an important determinant of cardiac output, which is the product of stroke volume and heart rate, and is also used to calculate ejection fraction, which is stroke volume divided by end diastolic volume. Because stroke volume decreases in certain conditions and disease states, stroke volume itself correlates with cardiac function. Calculation its value is obtained by subtracting end systolic volume from end diastolic volume for a given ventricle. In a healthy 70 kg man, EDV is approximately 120 ml and ESV is approximately 50 ml, giving a difference of 70 ml for the stroke volume. Stroke work refers to the work, or pressure of the blood multiplied by the stroke volume. Determinants, men, on average, have higher stroke volumes than women due to the larger size of their hearts. However, stroke volume depends on several factors such as heart size, contractility, duration of contraction, preload, and afterload. Exercise Prolonged aerobic exercise training may also increase stroke volume, which frequently results in a lower heart rate. Reduced heart rate prolongs ventricular diastole, increasing end diastolic volume and ultimately allowing more blood to be ejected. Preload, stroke volume is intrinsically controlled by preload. An increase in the volume or speed of venous return will increase preload and, through the franca euro starling law of the heart, will increase stroke volume. Decreased venous return has the opposite effect, causing a reduction in stroke volume. Afterload, elevated afterload reduces stroke volume. Though not usually affecting stroke volume in healthy individuals, increased afterload will hinder the ventricles in ejecting blood, causing reduced stroke volume. Increased afterload may be found in aortic stenosis and arterial hypertension. Stroke volume index, similar to cardiac index, is a method of relating the stroke volume to the size of the person. References ABCD Schlosser, Thomas. Pagonidis, Constantin. Herborn, Christoph U. Hunold, Peter. Waltering, Kaya. Lawenstein, Thomas C. Barkhausen, Jar Paragraph RG. Assessment of left ventricular parameters using 16 MDCT and new software for endocardial and epicardial border delineation. MJ Runt Genel 184, 765 Euro 773 DOI. 10.2214 slash AJR 184.3.0184765 of values, and diastolic volume a euro average 118 and a range of 68 a euro 239 milliliters and, end systolic volume a euro average 50.1 and range, 16 a euro 143 milliliters, also, Ejection fraction was estimated in this study to be average 59.9% or plus or minus 14.4%. Range, 18 a euro 76%, but secondary sources used in this article instead. O'Connor, Simon. Examination Medicine. Edinburgh, Churchill Livingston. PA 41. ISBN A 0 7295 3 a Normal ranges for heart rate are among the narrowest limits between bradycardia and tachycardia. See the bradycardia and tachycardia articles for more detailed limits. Edwards Life Sciences LLC Normal Hemodynamic Parameters A Euro Adult 2009, Katz, Arnold M. Physiology of the Heart. Hagerstwin, M.D., Lippincott Williams and Wilkins. PA 337. ISBN A0. 7817-5501-8 Burn, Robert M. Levy, Matthew N. Cardiovascular Physiology. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Mosby. 
ISBN A0-323-01127-6A, Boron, Walter F., Bulpup, Emil L. Medical Physiology, A Cellular and Molecular Approach. Philadelphia, 1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-1-4-